Good evening. Hope you are doing well over there. Today we are looking at uh, maths from 3 lesson number 3, which means it is a continuation lesson. The topic is commercial arithmetic 2. Subtopic is income tax. Our main objective is to determine the basic salary or tax for income. So that means the kind of equation we have here is that equation of us starting from down coming to the top. Remember, most of the equations that we have done is when you are given a basic salary, then you are given the, 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 the allowances, then the first given uh, question that you are supposed to answer is to determine the taxable income. And we know that taxable income is equal to basic salary plus all the allowances. But now, this question here is where we have been given the, the tax. Meaning that already they have calculated the tax through the slabs. They have gotten the total tax. Now it is upon us to use that total tax given to go back to the basic salary or the taxable income. So before we commence, because you are amazing people, why can't I take this opportunity first of all to thank you so much for your support. I smile because of you people. The channel has grown to where it is today because of you. May God bless you for me. Thank you so much. So I've written solution. Uh, we can uh, start by looking at what we have been given. The taxable income is given in Kenya bounds. PA means per annum or per year. The rate is given in Kenya shillings. Rate in Kenya shillings per Kenya bounds. So which means in every two, in every two Kenya bounds, in every rate in Kenya, rate in shillings per Kenya bounds. So that means in every Kenya bound, the tax that is charged is two shillings. That's what we, that's what it means. So meaning when you multiply this amount of money by two. You don't get your answer in, in, in Kenya bounds. Instead, you get your answer in Kenya shillings. That's what it means. Because Kenya shillings is coming first. Then you have been told per bound. So that means the money you get after multiplying 4,200 by 2 is not in Kenya bounds, but it is going to be in Kenya shillings. So it's good that you start by understanding the, te the table that you are given and the amount of money given here is in in per annum per year so if you are given maybe the tax per month or you have been given the tax for income in in, 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 in in monthly then it means you have to convert it back into year for you to be able to use this step but lucky enough we have been given the annual income meaning there's there's nothing here to convert the money we we have been given as the annual income is already per, per annum, and the table given here is, is per, per annum. Now, if that's the case, it means we will go direct to our slabs. So you will see me saying, first this slab. The money we use is not the money on, on, uh, on your left, it is the money on your right. So we will start from 4,200. 4,200 times the rate given. Remember, 4,200 is, is Kenya pounds per year, per annum. This money is in Kenya pounds. But when you multiply by the rate given here, because this is two things per Kenya, per Kenya pounds, then it means the money we will obtain as the, the answer here will be in Kenya shillings. So for, for, for 200 times 2, it will give me 8,400. So this money will be in, this automatically is in Kenya shillings. This one is in Kenya bounds. And this is the rate. The money that we are right, we are using here, the money we are going to have in this particular column here is going to be the taxable income. The sum of the money that will appear in this particular column 
will be our taxable income. The money that we have here on the far column there will be our income, our income tax. That's the tax. That is the tax that we obtain on, on the last column. At, at, at the center here, the column which will appear at the center here will represent the rate at which the tax is being determined. Then, next we don't apply 8,400. Instead, we subtract the two figures. 8,400 minus 4,200, you will obtain 4,200. So that's what we will use in our second slab. The rate in the second slab is 3, which means we will get 12,600. Remember, I, I said that whatever we obtain here, the sum of what we obtain here will give us the tax income. The sum of what we will obtain on the other side, on the, on the quorum, on the other side will be the tax. The tax here is given. The total tax that we must obtain here is given us that 7,000. So it means the moment you obtain any figure here, try to ask yourself, is the sum equivalent to that 7,000? Or it is below that 7,000? Or it has exceeded? So that's why I want us, before we proceed to our last slab, we should know the amount we are going to use there, times 4, giving us the remaining amount. So you start by adding 8,400 plus 12,600. It is giving me 21,000. It is giving me 21,000. So that's the tax that is remaining. So the, the tax we get in the last slab must be 21,000. So that when you add all of this, it gives you the total tax, which is 7,000. So if we read this one to PK, can we obtain that amount of money? Yes. So we, for, I mean, K times 4 will give you 4K, which is the same as 21,000. You divide by 4, you divide by 4. So our K becomes, you divide by 4, you get 5,000. You get... There's uh, something that I've, I've, I've done wrong here. So let's go back a bit. When you add this amount of money, when you get 21. So we will find the remainder. Okay? I've used the total instead of the remainder. So when you add these two, we are getting 20. We are getting 21,000. Yes. But the total is that 7. We need to subtract and get the remainder, which is, which is going to be 16,000. So 16,000 is the remainder. So times the rate. The money here, we don't know, we can put K there. Now you will, we can come and determine K by saying K times 4 is 4K is equals to 16,000. Then we divide by 4, we divide by 4. So K becomes 4,000. So K will be represented by 4, 4,000. So, but if you, if you could proceed, then you take 12,600 minus 8,400. The money you want to get as the difference between the two is 42, 200. So if you want to put 4,200 here and then you multiply by 4, how much would you get? You would get 16,800. 16,800 plus 21, it would exceed that 7,000. So that's why it's good that when you proceed, when you go step by step, add this amount of money and try to see whether it is it is, it is becoming closer to what you, you are being given. But in this particular question, the advantage we have is that we have been given only three slabs. We have been given only three rows. So once you use this one, that's two as the rate, you use three, and still the, the money has not reached that seven, that tells you that the, the, the remaining amount should be used in the last slab. That's why... When I reached at this given point, I, I decided to add the 2 to obtain 21. Then I took that 7,000 minus 21 to get the balance. This balance should be obtained in the last uh, slab. 
That's why I, I say it. There is a certain amount of money that should be here so that when you multiply it by four, you get 16,000. So that's why I introduced K to represent that amount of money. Now, when you try to evaluate for the K, you will get 4,000. And I, I said the other that the amount of money we will be obtaining in the first column here will be representing our taxable income or monthly income. So for the question wanted us to find Juma's annual income. Remember the, the, the amount of tax we, we are given here and the amounts given in the table are per annum. They are annually. So the, when you add these three values, you will automatically get Juma's annual Income. So we will now say Juma's annual income is equal to we add 4200 plus 4200 then plus 4000. We add on the three, which will give you 0, 0, 4, 12. And this money is in Kenya, she gets in Kenya pounds. The money is in Kenya, Kenya pounds. Remember, I started by saying that the amount we have been given here is in Kenya pounds. So when you add it, automatically you will get your answer in Kenya pounds. And that's what the question wants you to give. So I want to appreciate you for watching. Uh, may God bless you. I would like to wish you all the best. See you next time. Bye-bye.